Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the week after the celebration. Yes, sir. Boy, it was good. We, we got some good video for the day, but that celebration wore me out. <laughs> you, you go ahead and do your thing, and then we will get going. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. Welcome back. Got to remind everybody of some horse shows coming up. We've got one in Alabama in Huntsville, A&M uh, Agricultural Center. Call Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. That's the Alabama Jubilee. Start time is 6 on Friday. Five on Saturday, judges Scotty Brooks, Steve Gladwell, and Newton Parks. Then we got the North Carolina Championship October 5th through the 7th at Fletcher, North Carolina. Call Myra Helton, 704-718-4152. Start time Thursday and Friday, 545. Saturday, 5 p.m. Judges Brent Greider, Newton Parks, and Amy Tremble. They're going to wear old Newton out right oh, yeah. at the end of the mm -hmm. year. He's going to get it. You know, a lot of talk about the uh, the uh, USDA coming up with their new rules on what they're going to do and our pads and action advice. And, and I'm just going to come out and say it, it. It's time to quit, get off the playground, quit trying to do this through the politicians because the politicians get voted in and out, we need to go into a court of law. And I mean, we're, we're denied our due process. They're 
putting foreign substance on our horse before they go in to inspection. Yes. They're coming out, getting them out of a warm-up ring and bringing them back in and getting them for inflammation. The government has got to the point that it's no longer about what's best for the horse, what's best for the industry. It's competition between the VMOs on which one of them can find the dumbest violation. And they're creating them. That, that's, the, that's my problem. They're creating the violations. It, it, it's just unbelievable. And I know you've got to be careful what you say, but I don't. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I just hope they don't use what I say against you. Uh, it ain't no big deal. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. That, that's and, a, that, that's they they the whole big thing. Do. You know. But uh, they, they don't mind breaking the law is what I'm saying. They really don't. And then they look at you if you if you point out something to them, they won't get all defensive. Well, I got news for you. It, it's just like I told you when we went to the last show. They put they put alcohol on my horse, and then they go in there and inspect and they turn him down. We're going to have a problem, and I'm not talking about me suing them. I'm talking about me charging them because yeah. I will I will damn well charge them. I don't. They, they've been let loose too long. They need to be corralled. They need to be in a court of law. It needs to be decided <clears> on <throat> this targeting. I mean, it, it's just ain't right. Uh, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to watch some World Grand Championship victory passes. Papacito, Papacito and Karen Bean. Took the blue in the amateur park pleasure. I, I tell you, that was a that was a real a nice show, show right did. there. That was I'm gonna tell you, she's done a real good job. The only thing I wish had been a little bit darker, so her spotlight ride under the spotlight would have been a little bit better. But I can tell you, she she rode. I mean, it was flawless. Yes. She made a good ride now. She really did. Well deserved. Well deserved. I know Bill was happy. Oh, he yes. had to be. Wife's happy, but everybody that's happy. happy. That's right. <laughs> Wife ain't There's happy, no, there ain't nobody, nobody happy. happy. That's right. The wife stay happy. Look here. I be smoking Joe and Joy Johnson for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. Three years in a row, Jerry. Three years in a row. That owner amateur all day pleasure has had three world grand champions and they're all the same horse. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is. Real nice horse. That's a good family. That the is. Whole, a whole bunch of them. They do so much for the industry. I tell you, a lot of the suits that you see in that show ring, his mom is the one that cleaned them and got them ready. Fact, sure is. I tell you something that I really liked is uh, that catering service that they put on delivery service. Yes. That's, that's pretty good. What what they call it? Flat walking. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was something else. And here's Patrick Mahone. I'm gonna be honest, I was tickled to death to see this. Oh yeah. I really was. I really was. I, I, That's, that whole made a real good show. Oh, Paul did. done a good job of riding him. Paul's a super good guy. Yeah. And this is a well-deserved World Grand Championship too. Well-deserved. Good horse. We ain't getting it there, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. There's the ultimate honor. 
He is the first to ever get to go all the way around. And I mean all the way. <laughs> you know, I believe this is the most talked about class around. <laughs> and I'm talking about people that's not in the horse business. Yeah. Man, I went and got hay from that give him my hay. That's the first thing. He couldn't remember no class, but he remembered this class. He remember this little boy. He couldn't remember his name. He said, but that little boy rode that horse to death right there. He did. I'll tell you what, people just don't know how great our horse is until yeah. they get on his back. But right here is ultimate proof with the ultimate honor in That's Jack right. Hardy. <laughs> Right there's a country lineman. B.B. Beasley made a oh, great yeah, she show. Oh, yeah, good show. Now, she did. Now, she was reserved behind him. That's a nice horse, too. Yeah, it is. Real nice. Them girls ride hard now. They some oh, good riders now, I tell you. Well, we've had them out the bar, and they, yeah. they, they, they one of them rides, the other say, I want to, too. Yep. Into the Badlands, Chad Spencer. There's another good horse right here. I tell you what, I really like that horse, and Chad's a super he's, good guy. He's a real nice guy. The World Reserve World Grand Champion. What more can you ask? He really loved, Chad really loved these horses now. Oh, yeah. You know, he, I believe his daddy trained some. Mm -hmm. But Chad's a basketball coach. Yes. Wonder he, he he needs to get a horse called Double Dribble. <laughs> <laughs> but now Chad's a real nice guy for the dunker, and he's real appreciative of people, you oh, know, yeah. talking about his horse and stuff like that. Oh yeah, he appreciates it. He does. Here's honored in Texas and Bob Adcock, your amateur five-year-old reserve world grand champion. Uh, what, that's a nice one too, buddy. That is a nice horse. And I tell you what, with all the rigmarole that them horses had to go through to get in that ring, I mean, they deserve, all of them deserve a blue ribbon. You know, we had some great classes, Jerry. Yeah. I mean, some really great classes. And, but it still didn't stop what was going on in the inspection area yeah. and the way some people were getting treated. 18. I mean, some of it was just, it just wasn't right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Here's reserve world grand champion. I be smoking now. He won world grand champion with an adult and got reserved with Tanner on him. Well, I tell you, you know, that's you can tell what kind of talent that horse is. They won a world championship, world grand championship, and then turn around and be a reserve world championship in another division. Yeah. You know, with a different rider. That's that's a real good horse right there. Well, that's what it, I mean. That's what this industry is all about. But you know, what really got me is they, the, the USDA targeted the performance horse. Oh, yeah. Here's Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters. This horse, I'm telling you. Been a good horse oh, for a long Lord. time now, I tell you. Taylor, Taylor rides him just, I mean, I like what, that head up in there. He's he just going for it. Instead of that horse shaking down, he's shaking back up towards you. Yeah. You know, he gets it. He gets it done now. He's a nice horse. Taylor does a good job on riding. She's a good rider. I know Molly was proud. And here's a gin to win in Kendra Myers. I tell you what I admire about Kendra. That horse had been in the Brady barn. She got him out, put him back in the ring, and went to every big show. Yeah. And the celebration is the only one that she got less than first. Yeah. And a lot of people, hey, a lot of people liked her as, the, as being the best one. So it's, uh, she made a great show, no doubt about it. Like they always say, ain't dime with the difference between the first oh, and yeah. second place. 
15 to an under world grand champion, former lion and Carol Baxter. I tell you what, that lady doesn't take a back seat to nobody. No, she don't. She made a great show. And that was, she just got some good horses. She got some real good horses. And I tell you. Ride. She can flat ride a horse now. And Carol been in this business for a long time, buddy. A lot long, a lot of these horse trainers out here train horses. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's a nice ride right there. Nice, nice. Right there's a kingpin in Bob Agcock reserve. I'm going to tell you, when you have those kind of horses in a class, the problem is all of them can't be first. Oh, yeah, you're right. But they're good now. Bob had a good celebration. Oh, yeah. He got a good stock. Bob got some real good stock. Oh, yeah. He can pick them. <laughs> right there's a dollar silver collector in Gracie Jane Ware. Owner amateur U6 to 11, Marion Gildan. World Grand Champion. Oh, Tom tickled death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's strange how these uh, daddies and grandfathers and uncles and aunts and mothers all end up giving up horses. Oh, yeah. You do a lot for them kids. Well, Justin Harney bought him a new one, but his son done told us his mother's gonna end up with that horse. <laughs> right there, it's the medalist and Eli Cunningham. I tell you what, Eli, you can't beat him yeah. now. He, he's there, buddy. He is there. And he's got a following. Oh, yeah. Eli's a pistol oh, now, yeah. buddy. He's a pistol. And here's Kong. And I believe what you said about this one right here. Oh, I'm going to tell you now, that horse is going to be in the winter circle for a long time. That's a, that's a good horse right there. Getting it done. Allison sure does ride him well. Now that's that's one thing right there. Everything's so easy and flowing with that horse. Mm -hmm. Just fluid. Yeah. Slamming hot and Robert Dort. Our amateur three-year-old world grand champion. He's a happy man. Yeah. Robert Roberts, I, I know he had to be. Oh, yeah. Him. You'll see that horse for a long time, too. Oh, yeah. And here's Mr. Bentley, Lakeland Matthews, Reserve World Grand Champion. I like that horse. The little lady can flat ride him, too. Yeah. It's 
sat up there with that one hand. She said, give me that ribbon, yeah. I'll cut it out. <laughs> I ride one-handed. Real nice. Yeah, it is. And here he is, Cavender, Knox Blackburn from Bruce and Robin McDonald. We're gonna see him in the big state big, next year. Yeah, show the will. He's a good one. Horse right there gets it done, buddy. He's only had one trainer. Yeah. That's it. Bruce and them is very proud of that horse right there, I bet you. Hey, I don't blame him. I do not blame him. Right there gets it done. Right there, smoking in Jimmy McConnell. I tell you what, Allison made a good purchase on this oh, mare. Smoking. I like that name. Oh, yeah. I've been smoking. smoking. Beautiful. Chad Spencer, I'll tell you what, won a world championship, reserve world grand champion. I yeah. love this horse. Oh, I do too. Chad got two nice horses. Yeah, he does. The two I seen, he might have more, but I'm just saying the ones I seen, them, them the two good ones right there. Yeah, and he's, a, he's a school teacher, so it, it says a lot because Government employees, they can't afford one of them USDA tickets. Yeah. Here is Nevermore and Julia Calloway. Morrison Calloway, owner amateur 1217, married and gilded. I tell you what, Alan, now, talking about a, a, a grandfather that's in hog heaven. That's right. Now, he, he's a. I was talking to him on the phone. He was, he was telling me all about his granddaughter. I tell you, that's a, that's world grand champion after world grand champion after world grand champion right yes. there. The daddy was a, a granddaddy was a, won a world grand championship. The daddy won a world grand championship, and that daughter won a world grand championship. And her uncle won. And her uncle won. I mean, that's a that's a big thing for that family right there. Yes, it is. And here's Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. I tell you what, right here is a trooper, buddy. Yeah. From day one, she is a trooper. Beth does a good job riding that horse. That's a good mare. And the trainer of that horse oh, does yeah. a good job. That's a good team. Yep. Real good team. <clears throat> Praise and honor. Praise and honor and Jeff Lachlan for Doris Pennick. I'm going to tell you, Vicki Pennick has got two of the finest parents you would ever want. Now she really does. Jeff done a good job with that. Oh, horse. yes. Some fantastic classes during this year's celebration. Some good classes. Well, they had to run through hoops and all this to get in there, but they they did great. A ring of fire, that's pretty much what they had to run through to get in there. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> right 
right there. Spotlight on Jose, reserve world grand champion. That's a good one right that there. That is a good one. That's a four-year-old world grade yeah. champion. I had to post that class. Bob said he didn't get to see the class, so we put it up. You know, it's it's really good to watch this. I've seen that code co preview yep. at Sugar Creek. That was rising store at that time when he first came in, when he first bought him. Yep. And now you see him right now. Now that's pretty good when you watch one come all the way up like that. Makes you feel good. Yeah. And here's Warbird and Ryan Blackburn for Ginger Williams. I tell you what, I've liked this horse for years. Years, yeah. Boy, that spotlight does a trick, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Does it all? Oh yeah. But we're we're not done. We're uh. Well, you do your thing, and then we'll tell them what we're gonna do. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse. But I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. All righty, we are about to, uh, everybody's been talking about the state class, talking about yeah. the state class, one of the best ones we've had oh, in yes. years. Oh, yeah. yes. So we're going to let everybody see the entire State class. Jay Bradley, we're on our feet. How about the anthem of the Walking Horse Nation, the Larry Bright original, the Flat Walk Boogie to welcome in our championship entries on Saturday night.
first contenders, number 170. Here's Jose's revival. Stacy Ryan is in the eyes. He campaigns the entry for Debbie Woods on Lexington. Jose's revival and Stacy Ryan. Stacy Ryan is in the eyes. Stacy Ryan is in the Next to join us in the big oval tonight is number 559, Honor and Remember. Dan Waddell and Dr. George and Jim Lewis of Cuba, Alabama. Honor and Remember at Dan Waddell.
Yeah. It's getting heated yeah. up. Mm -hmm. It's going. It's going to get better. Now, it's, I'm going to tell you, it's going to get better. A lot but, better. But first, you have to take us to commercial. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. 
to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So... If you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. Okay. Well, it's getting hot. Yes. Who's going to win? <sighs> Who, who's your money on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I just hope everybody's ready and they didn't get to see it. Hey, anybody that missed it, you're going to see the rest of it. That's so, right. Here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, would you like to see a little more tonight? Well, our judges agree with you. They'd like to see some more. We're going to put all seven of the entries back on the rail. The riders find you a good spot to stretch yourselves out. The World Grand Championship title is still on the line here on Saturday night. Uh, the cards haven't been marked. Decisions have not been made at this point. You know your advertising.
saw it. <laughs> That's all you can say is wow. Well, I'm going to tell you, I liked Jose's revival. I did and too. I, and mm -hmm. I like John Allen's horse. Uh, I, I, I really like, you know, I, I can't, I like Dixie Rose. Yeah, Dixie Rose. Dixie Rose all, I'm going to tell you, them horses, <laughs> them top three horse right there was, was, was a good horse. That whole class was a good horse yeah. class now. All of them. Yeah. I mean, from top to bottom, bottom. Mm -hmm. you had the best of the best of the best. Yes. And uh, it's just a shame that Every one of them can't win. Yeah. But that's the way it goes. You just, every one of them can't win. Well, that was one of the best classes, best that, state classes that, in a long we've time. Had, that we've had, you had in, a lot of excitement, excitement, a lot of competition. Yeah. The crowd got into it, you know. They just, the crowd just wasn't in the center ring. That's right. <laughs> that's it. I do want to remind everybody that we uh, need to get on and make comments on this comment period we've got. but. Uh, I'm still hoping that the industry as a whole goes after the USDA. Uh, they, they've just, they've gone beyond the law. It's time that we, it's time that we stood up as an industry and, and demanded our rights. Yes. And due process is one of them. Uh, you're, you're penalized before you're ever found guilty. So. See y'all next week with another show. See you later. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shoot it to the right, shoot it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat. So they say, I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.